I'm not hearing you, Susan. Uh, hello, can you guys hear me? We can now, yes. Yes. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can. And if you could put it okay. in slideshow uh, mode, that would be appreciated. Thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so this presentation is about the reflection from Socorro, New Mexico, about surrounding the October 4, 2023 annual solar eclipse. Um, I got on my end that Zoom quit unexpe unexpectedly that there's a crash and it will not let me go to the nest. Uh, one sec, this over. Okay, I've stopped my timer. <clears throat> I'll let you uh, recuperate. Oh. <clears throat> okay, it looks like it's working out. Okay, so this um, uh, was a collaboration between the Minnesota Atmospheric team between St. Catherine University, St. Cloud State University, and Fund Lac Community and Travel College. Um, I would also like to um, take a moment to thank our host, um, Dr. Ken, from universe from the New Mexico School of Mines of Mines and Technology. Um, Dr. Ken also arranged lifetime video, lifetime video to feed to the International Balloon Festival because at the time of the eclipse when we went to New Mexico it was also around the same time for the International Balloon Festival, and Dr. Ken made sure that ours our balloon was was filmed to the International Balloon Festival. So the so, things so, that work so could, out- Susan, Susan, could you stop for a moment? We're still seeing your title slide. We're not seeing your slides go forward. Oh, hmm. I can, for some reason, maybe, let me do a new share. Yeah, if you would stop your share and start it over again, maybe that will reset the system. I don't know what's going on, but we are not seeing your slides go forward. Now we're seeing your second slide right now. Okay. Can you just try forwarding the slide right now just to make sure it's going to work for us? Forward. Now Susan's unpinned. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So Susan, can you share your screen again right now? Uh If it doesn't work, I can I can throw it up on my screen and try to do it that way if we have to. Is this you're sharing once okay. again? Okay, so okay. we're we're seeing your second slide. Can you just practice going forward one slide? Let's just make sure it will work. I am going for I'm I am pressing the front arrow button at this moment. Is it advancing for you? Mm -mm. Okay, okay. Eric, Eric, why don't you try sharing these slides? I will stop sharing. Yeah. So I stopped sharing my screen at the moment. That's great. Let's see if we can get these slides up from through Eric's computer. Okay. Thanks for your patience, everyone. Eric, are you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> wasn't prepared to share necessarily. Why can't I share? Why can't I? Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. There you go. You were talking about Ken hosting, so. Um. Next. So the things that worked well for us was um our our trailer held the him tag very securely, and it was and it was very sick, and it provided a secure platform for us to fill in the tank, for us to fill in the helium tank on and off um so the team like getting up uh, getting the balloon up we also worked really well on that get it get it off um and in the a lot of time we did have some delay with with we did have some delay which occurred to which occurred 
to get in the wrong frequency when we were initi initiate initiating the radio sound. So we had to we initiate the sound because we had problem with our frequency. So that was what causes delay between the launch. But we all did um well in getting that getting the balloon launched. So one of our areas of improvement would definitely be like you know collecting data and make and like the data processing. We also like you know welcome some assistance on that and like the food on flatline. You know meals were meals for those that were on and off. There wasn't like a a meal scheduled. We just kind of like the flow with in terms of the meals and and also one of the things that we could also work on is we add one loft ground station to practice to practice on and to also share within three teams as well and one of the fourth thing that we we, we could improve on is kind of like perhaps each team having like an assigned fre frequency to work on because you know one of the things that got confused like that one of the things that was very challenging was each each for each launch we had different frequencies and uh, for each launch we had a different frequency and sometimes the frequency got confused with each team and with that we had to like we initiate the radio song because 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 of that, we had to we we initiate sound so that way we don't have frequency interference and that kind of that will was what caused the delay between our launches. But other than that, that those are some like our areas of improvements. It's down. Um, this show this picture shows the effect of the the effect of the eclipse on on the leaves. I mean on the trees which shadowed on. On the trees, we can kind of like we can see the effect on the shadow. We can kind of like see how um we can kind of see the, the the effect of the of the, we can see the the effect of the eclipses, and this is like the image of what we saw on the sun on the sun spotter um when um the eclipse occurred. Um, we were we, yeah yeah. Uh, this is the data summary of uh, of a. Uh, this is a this is a flight summary of all of our um flights. Um, as we can see here, we got an a record elevation of of, of thirty five thousand. Um, this is um this is the record elevation for the Minnesota team in general, and the record team for and the record flight for Saint Catherine of all the flights that we have flown, we with that that we have flown, in total. Um, looking forward to April eighth. Um, we're looking for, we're looking forward to uh, additional you know one practice so that we can improve between February and March and also like from our host um university. Um, which is Taylor University, and this is what we call our money shot, which we which we got from uh, Will Owen. Will Owen was the IT kind of IT IT support person slash chef that was a uh, that was. Along, along with us for the Eclipse Live, I mean, with the Minnesota team. So yeah, and that is it, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Susan. That's a wonderful picture, uh, uh, the money shot, as you say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, next.